Ian Cooper wants to know, would a faulty antenna connection my Tango 2 cause poor range? Yeah, of course. I thought it was the quad as others flew further, but I've swapped out everything. I'm tearing my hair out. Ian, if you must, you can open up that Tango 2 and you can look to see if like the UFL connector has popped off the main board. It's possible that it's happened. I don't think it's likely, but it's possible. If you have multiple quads with bad uh, range, then that does point to the controller. Another thing you could do, if you have a friend or somebody else with a Crossfire uh, radio, you could try binding to their radio and see if the range gets better. Another test you can do is you can do a test of the... You can do a test of the RSSI on the bench. Um... Oh, I never can find this when I'm looking for it. I can never find this when I'm looking for it. And the chat has to tell me where it is. Uh, come on. There's a test you can do. Damn it. Where, under Quick Start? Before first flight on the left, I think there's a... Where is it? Oh, here. Oh, that's it, isn't it? Yes. Come on. There it is. Okay, great. Thank you, Plenty. So uh, there's this bench test suggestion. It's on the ExpressLRS Wiki uh, webpage, but you can do it with Crossfire. It works exactly the same. And what you're going to do is you're going to look at the, you're going to set your module to 10 milliwatts or whatever the lowest power you can. And you're going to put your radio about a meter away and power it up. And then you're going to look at the RSSI DBM value. And for 900 megahertz, roughly like minus 20 DBM is about right. Um, you would need to adjust that if you were at if you were at 10 milliwatts, you'd be at roughly minus 20 dBm. And then for every 6 dB, you would, you would add, you know, for every dB of signal strength, you would add or subtract from that threshold. But like if you are a meter away and you're at like minus 40 or minus 50 dBm, that's like, that's no good. So you're going to want to see a relatively high value here. That could help you figure out uh, whether you have bad hardware, a damaged antenna.